gold rallied to the record levels yesterday and uh, today again we have seen it continuing with the bullish momentum it has already hit 2782.4 levels while silver is also traded bullish and we have seen it hitting 34.5 34.6 the greater resistance zone what to expect today from gold and silver where to enter where to exit how to profit everything we're gonna see with the help of charts and indicate this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the u.s session subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort remember this is the only channel to give you two updates a day with detailed analysis on multiple time frames and arrive at a logical level at which you can take a trade and trade profit let's start first gold followed with silver watch till the end if you look at the charts of gold, you will find uh, it is delivering higher lows and higher highs and trying to trade in this uh, bullish channel here. And now it is very, very important for it to break beyond 2784 levels, beyond which you can expect it to keep moving towards, see, 8485, once it breaks, the chances will be high that we may see gold hitting uh, 2791 and, in fact, 2800 levels. 2800 is going to remain one critical level, which it will like to achieve before revert but uh, i will say things are getting overbought here and we have to trade with caution specifically on the upside the reversal can be equally is while notice one point see it has formed a very good support now at 70 72 zone and that is also the 20 period moving average so this is the zone it needs to break today only below which we can expect slight bearishness and then 64 66 once it breaks below 64 66 the next support levels are towards 2755 and 2750 yesterday i have mentioned very clearly that once it breaks beyond 2754 we can look forward to the next move towards 6064 and once it breaks 6064 we can expect it to keep moving upwards the same has happened uh, right now i can see a bit of divergence of the price from the moving average 20 period which calls for it to converge the stock stochastic here is also overbought the MACD is also seeing the highs here a possibility of a crossover exists but it is shying away from it as of now the rsi is also staying overbought coming to two hours the observation is more or less same on the two hour charts higher lows and higher highs and you should notice that it has formed a good support here at around first 2775 and then 7072 zone. Once these two levels are taken, chances will be high that we may see 64, 66 zone as the next target and below which you can expect more bearishness. Also notice, uh, look at the formation here. If you draw a parallel here, you will find, see, this is trying to move towards 2800. But at the same time, divide this into two, connect the dots, you will find that this is a slightly bullish channel in which it is trading and this is a nice flag formation where are the lows of this channel towards 2740 so uh, as i have mentioned yesterday as well today again 2740 is the only level with below which we can say that now gold has reversed and we can see more bearishness stock isaac has dropped here the MACD is still rising on the two hour charts while the rsi is staying overbought on the three hour series of bullish candles after forming a good support at 2750 2740 zone we have seen it rising straight trading with too much of divergence calls for it to converge another point to note here is the rise then the sharp retracement and again this bull run has appeared and now it appears that the bulls are a bit exhausted at the current levels so only buying entry today i will recommend is at 278485 zone beyond which we can expect slight bullishness stock stick here is extremely elevated extremely overbought it may try to cool down while the MACD is still looking up first and it is still trading with divergence and bullishness rsi is overbought here as well on the four the observation is same see it is staying outside bollinger bands the bollinger bands have expanded uh you can say exponentially and now time for it to stabilize a bit has come which means either gold will try to trade in a narrow zone or it can try to show a pullback so this is what for the near term we can expect that it may try to confine its movement before looking forward to any further and this is why i am just giving you a word of caution that here at till 2784 85 you have to exercise extra caution the chances will be high that it can show you a pullback here if you look at the stock i think this is extremely overbought the MACD divergent and bullish the rsi overbought here coming to the now before we look into daily charts and arrive at the levels if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signal channel on telegram connect with me write an email ping me over telegram for your queries and if you're looking forward to a broker which offers you a self free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges with easier transactions easier withdrawals safer environment for you to trade you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description very important to have a safe broker which 
assures you uh, easier withdrawals, easier transactions across the globe. Do join it today and enjoy trading. Now look at the daily charts. See, first of all, look at yesterday's candle, a flat top and a flat bottom. And this is a Mari Beju candle. Now, if you connect the highs here, see highs are far above towards uh, 2800 levels and the lows are towards 2740. So now today, if it stays above 2784, 85, chances will be high that we may see 2791 and then possibility will be high that 2798 and 2804 levels can be seen today itself. Now, once you see this candle, you can see this is extremely bullish candle. And today it has started again on a bullish note. Thus, it is very, very important for gold to now trade below 27. Uh, see, first it has to turn red, which means it has to trade below 27.74.75 zone and then towards 27.70. Once 27.70 is taken, we can expect a pullback here. And the possibility then will be high that we may see a movement towards 26.50, uh, 26.60 zone. So this possibility we should not ignore. Second thing to note here is it has formed a base now at 27.20 and with that as base it is trying to bounce back. So this is still to be considered bullish here. Do not read this as bearish as long as 27.40, 27, 20 zone is not taken. Stock has to rising, MACD rising, it is looking up first and the RSI overbought as well. So looking at only buying entry today I will recommend is at 27.84, 85 beyond this chances will be high that we may see 90.91 as the first target and then uh, 9, 27, 98 and 20, 28, 0, 4, 0, 5 levels can be expected here. Yes, if it continues to trade bullish above 27, 84, 85 and then 27, 90, 91, chances will be high that we may see a stronger rise. Though I do expect a retracement, I do expect that there has to be a pullback. Things are getting overbought here for gold, but it is not showing any such signs of a pullback. And if you see today gold trading below 27.74.75, you can take a selling entry at 27.74. But the nearest support it is going to get is at 27.70.72 itself that is going to remain the first support zone. Below 70.72 is where we can expect 27.64.66. And if it breaks this, uh, 27.58.60. Now below 27.58.60 also the nearest support will be at 27.54 and 50. So largely saying I will say every 40-50 points gold has got some support. Below 27.50 is where we are looking forward to the next move towards 27.40. So look at the move here till 27.50 you are getting support at a, oh, every 40-50 points. Once it reaches 27.50, you can say uh, we are going to get bigger targets 27.40, 27.30 and 27.20 and below 27.20 is where the major bearishness can be seen, where it can move towards 2700 or 2680. But can you expect that looking at the move, it is going to deliver such a strong move today? Chances appears to be less. However, I will say these are markets, anything and everything is possible and uh, the thing which appears to be extremely bullish can turn extremely bearish in one single candle thus you have to be trading with caution at least till 2750 you have to just place uh, every 40 50 pips you will find a support uh, specifically below 27 uh, 70 levels you will find the next support levels at 64 66 60 58 and then 54 and then 50 below which you can say that the bears are back take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at see silver on the early charts first it has breached the first support zone at 30 resistance zone at 34 20 30 we have seen it moving towards 34 50 60 the next milestone now what silver is doing you can just observe uh, in my understanding it is trying to trade in this nice flag formation where are the lows of this flag are towards 33 and right now what has happened here after finding the resistance we have seen silver reversing now this is the zone which is going to give maximum support in between 34 34 20 levels see previously this was the resistance now this has become a greater and thus only selling entry today is below 34 33 90 below which we can expect 33 70 33 50 levels as the next targets below which 33 should be seen uh, Right now, the momentum is not very much supportive of such a stronger drop. Stock ISTIC has dropped. MACD has crossed over at the top, trading with divergence. It can continue to trade bearish here. We have to wait. We have to, in fact, you can take a selling entry at 34, 15 levels itself, but then 34 is the prime support. It needs to break. RSI has dropped, coming to 2R. Now, on the 2R charts, what it has done, it has formed a cusp and it has come towards 20 period moving average. Now, 20 period moving average is indeed a very good support. 
and now i will wait for it to break below this and this that is 34 15 and 34 dollar levels very good support will be seen in between these levels the stock i stick has dropped sharp the MACD is in green trying to converge crossover rsi has dropped on the three the observation is more or less same hitting the highs you can see a flat top is observed and then this reversal has appeared i will wait for it to now trade below 3415 where you can expect 34 3390 at the first target 3370 and 3350 at the next targets see yes it could reverse it could still trade bearish and uh, complete the or move towards the bottom of the channel which is right now position below 33 stock isic has dropped sharp the MACD is in green trying to convert the rsi has dropped here on the four hour charts, when the observation is more or less same. See one green candle with a flat top suggests that a uh, possibility exists that we may see a follow up candle here. Thus, if you see it is staying below 34.15, take a sell, expect 34 and lower levels here. And if you look at the 34.33.90 is going to remain one support, then 33.70 and then 33.50 again and again. I am repeating the levels so that, so that you can memorize it. The stock ISTIC has dropped sharp. MACD after crossover it is still trading in green it is looking upwards the rsi is comfortable coming to the day see on the daily charts for silver it has formed lower highs it can form lower lows what has happened here can get replicated here which means we can in fact expect it to break below 3370 3350 zone yes it is delivering lower highs lower lows and remember a buying entry today is only and only if it breaks beyond 34.50 if it trades above 34.50 the chances will be high that we may see silver hitting 34.80 and in fact 34 levels as well yes it is formed a good support it is formed a reversal trying to bounce back but i will say the resistance here on the upside is going to remain greater the chances of silver erasing the gains from yesterday are high it can replicate what has happened here can get uh can happen here as well where it can erase all the gains if you look at the stock i think this is rising signs are bullish the macd is still in green and the rsi is at top so looking at this only buying entry i will now recommend is at 3450 where now we can expect it to move towards 3480 85 first target 35 and the next and any movement beyond 3510 is a good sign that we are looking forward to 3550 and in fact 36 dollar levels very very soon but my expectation is for a pullback and thus if you see it is staying below 34.15 levels when you see the higher price below 34.15 take a sell expect it to move towards 34 33.90 at the first target 33.70 as the next and then below that 33.50 33.40 level should appear below which more bearishness will prevail trade accordingly see you again before the us session like share subscribe and comment press the bell icon join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort thank you have a great profitable trading day